Pippins. I would foul. With two, Pippins for the tie. We're going to overtime in D.C. Ryan Pippins. Christmas comes early. Oh, my. L.J. Figueroa on a pogo stick. McClung left open. Up to Clemens! High flyer! On a picture-perfect night in Washington, D.C., we welcome you to Fox College Hoops as the Georgetown Hoyas welcome in the Liberty Flames. And they've made the transition. They're always busy in Capital One Arena with the reigning Stanley Cup champion, Washington Capitals. Now the Hoyas are getting set to take the floor. As we say good evening, everybody, alongside Sarah Kustak, I'm John Fanta. And Sarah, we've got two red-hot teams, and both coaches are encouraged by the start of the season. Two very well-coached teams. We tip off your college hoop Saturday in D.C., coming to you from Capital One Arena. The Georgetown Hoyas hosting the Little Rock Trojans. Happy holidays, everybody. Alongside Tyreek Turner, I'm John Fanta. These two teams looking for momentum as conference play inches closer, and they both have a youth movement going on. Yeah, we're going to see a lot of young guys coming out. Seven freshmen between both teams. This Hoyas team was picked seventh in the preseason poll. Their freshmen going up it game by game. And that's really the key, Patrick Ewing says, is just how much they'll grow in season. Absolutely. And when we talked to Pat, he talked about understanding that he has to be patient. There's going to be growing pains anytime you have a starting backcourt that's freshman and then another freshman coming off the bench playing big minutes in LeBlanc. There's going to be some highs and lows. Beauty's off this time. Morning already with a career high. It is Trey Morning's world. Who does this pace favor? That's a great question. I think it weighs Georgetown. Oh, two-hand jam. Kanan Gums. Excellent attack right up the gut by Gums. But with Georgetown, the one thing, because they play at such a fast pace, that gives them a little more tendency to turn the basketball over because you're making those quick decisions and that gets back on defense. Go Van, the answer. But I think both teams have shown they've got a great comfort level. Short, and St. John's can hold it, but they love running. Mikey Dixon's making a first impression. <laughs> to, to your point, that, that was maybe a situation where you would think to pull it out and take the last shot of the half, but instead, Dixon's ahead, they push it up. He feels that he's got the advantage, clearly does, and a good finish off of that play at the end. How about the combination of Pons and Dixon? They've got an excellent chemistry with one another. Ten on the timer. I'd like to see Creighton cut a little bit harder. Jays are stuck. Elger! Big time triple! Wow. Wow. Olivia Elger, why not me? Grace, great defense by Allie Green. Allie Green is making the most of every moment she's on this floor. Three on two. Oh, it's off to Sarda. Yes. This is the response that you want to see if you're Coach Flannery or Audrey Faber. You have this is an 11-2 Georgetown run. Winner of this one meets Marquette tomorrow. Carla, he was rejected by Anamaco. Five on three. Anamaco. Yes. It's Georgetown's largest lead. Time out, Villanova. How about these Hoyas? A 13-2 to get it going here in Chicago. The 
with 10 seconds left. Wilborn. No. Heidemann. 